this conference presents us with the opportunity to examine the future of energy on the continent. To exploring new energy frontiers to support sustainable, environmentally sound and gender responsive economic growth. have just um, a group of policymakers only discussing. We had very practical insights from people on the field. Africa we've been importing for too long, which makes our things more expensive. We need a rigorous policy harmonization at the level of what is our energy transition strategy. It has been an amazing session so far. We've been having discourse on what the energy transition means for Africa. Africa is big enough and huge enough to do the things we intend to do and to grow as a continent. We have everything that we need if we are to develop. Here we're talking about we having the resources, the, the raw material. So how can we better uh, integrate? African cannot fold their hand when the world is moving. About 39 African countries had committed to the Global Meeting Pledge. From uh, issues of national energy companies to just transition um, and deepening energy access, uh, all in the context of a decarbonization agenda. The ideas, the policies and even innovative finance that is um, destined to catalyze the sector. wonderful to see a Pan-African conference that focused on the unique perspectives that come out of this conference. The FEC 2024 will be a blast.